the war tales hey what's up everyone welcome to my war tales early game guide to choosing your professions in the game the basic philosophy for choosing professions is to assign the most important professions first so you want to be careful as well which professions to choose for which characters because different prof professions provide different bonuses but essentially what i want is so we've only got four members in our group to start with so what i want to do is i want to put the most important professions i want to assign those first and then the free character will basically float and change professions until we gain another party member and then we can choose again whatever i deem to be the most important profession because as you gain experience in professions the bonuses you get from those particular pr professions will go up but you also want to take advantage of all the professions in the game so assign your important professions first and then leave one person so that they can uh, choose every just continually switching professions whenever a situation comes up whether it's cutting wood mining fishing apothecary so on and so forth so we want to assign our tinkerer this is probably this is an extremely important profession because the tinkerer produces two raw materials during each rest which really adds up it saves you so much money in the long run so the tinkerer very important profession to start with Tinkerer also improves critical hits. So the person we're going to assign for our Tinkerer is uh, Aspasia here. So we're going to assign her career Tinkerer. And we're going to... Oh. <laughs> Alright, there we go. So our Tinkerer is assigned and we're not going to change that for the rest of the game. The Unless, of course, she uh, goes down in battle. That would be the one case where we have to change it. Next, uh, next profession, another very important profession is the blacksmith. Now, the blacksmith increases strength, so we want to assign um, Ragnar. Some we're going to assign him to our profession. He's our brute, and we're going to assign his profession as blacksmith. And there we go. So we've got our blacksmith. I guess we don't need to forge something. You guys will figure out the forging. Forging on your own. It's pretty uh, pretty straightforward. The next profession I'd like to assign is a thief. I think this is an incredibly important profession in the game. Touch it, you buy it. We've covered... Uh, st oh, whoops. We've covered uh, stealing, but uh, just go over it quickly you essentially it, my philosophy for stealing is you want to be stealing things that you're going to consume right away so that they don't uh actually so our thief uh also gains dexterity uh, dexterity and critical hit so we want our ranger to be the thief so that's the uh all right uh we're gonna steal some apples and there we go yeah you want to steal things that are going to be consumed right away in order to prevent stolen items to linger in your in your inventory my goodness my brain just stalled out there sorry guys oh my goodness all right the last profession we're going to assign is the apothecary but utrid here is going to be our jack of all trades he's oh okay we have to hit the apothecary table first all right and utrid will become our... um <laughs> that's the first time i heard the cat in the game my goodness what that was ridiculous so utrid's gonna be so he's gonna float between apothecary uh woodcutter cook uh miner all of those traits uh he's going to do it for us in the early game game until we actually actually um, have more party members so after your first mission you should be able to recruit a fifth party member and I think my personally the tr uh, the the skill that I think is the most important after these first three is the uh, the cook is you, know, you want to make sure you collect all that hemp as well but anyway we're gonna we're gonna chop some wood here with oh so Utrid all you have to do is change the profession here woodcutter 
and boom, we can cut a little bit of wood. So that's that's my philosophy. That way, you're still gaining the bonuses on what the most important skills are, and you're also getting the benefits from all of the other provisions. So you want to keep one character as the jack of all trades, and the other characters you want to um, stick with their professions so they can get the maximum bonuses. So um, yeah, that's how you take advantage of all the professions while not having a huge party anyway guys um that's it that's all i've got for you today thank you so much for watching watching yeah enjoy the rest of your day